Oh my god, it is a it's a cold day in crypto land. I am needing my jacket on to survive this this winter that we're having of of coldness here. I'm looking at a uh, Litecoin smashing down the way. Ah, uh, not 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 a happy time for Litecoin. Um. So it's yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, I was like, it's not going to go below 110, 114, wake up this morning and, oh dear, it's, it most definitely has. Um, so I was like, ah, bollocks. So I went onto Coinbase, bought another £50, <laughs> another £50 worth of um, Litecoin at 98 euros. Quickly moved it into GDAX and sold it off. Um, the reason I did that was I wanted to get the actual euros to use in um, GDAX, which for some reason I can't do it for my Revolut account at the moment. Um, and uh, so I put it at, uh, so I had, it worked out as 50 euros there and I, I placed them back down onto the, the trading floor, as it were, and uh, uh, and got more out of my fifty pounds than when I'd initially bought it. So I bought as here you can see I put in 0.5 um, of a Litecoin. At, I sold it at ninety eight, so just under fifty pounds, uh, fifty euros. Um, then I bought 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 at fifty seven, fifty five, fifty two, and I thought I'm going to push the boat out here, eighty seven. Uh, it's, no way is it going to go that low. Yeah, it, it quickly bounced down to that. Uh, I, I seem to have got it just at the at the absolute bottom there, um, going on there. So I was like, cool. Got it. And I went, I went steaming back up to 97, 98. I was like, oh, I'm a genius. And, and, and nah, it's, it's coming back down again. Ah, uh, it's painful. It's painful. And... I'm, I can't see where it's going. Um, I'm, I'm on all the, the news sites. Um, I'm on other people's channels trying to figure out what they're saying. And I can't see uh, what is really causing it. There's some FUD news, but nothing really spectacular going on. If we click on the news here, um, let's see, altcoin news might have anything going on there. But it's, it's just, there's nothing really that that big at the moment um, going on. It, it's just general FUD uh, going on, but in the past there was some FUD and the prices kept on going up. So it is coming down pretty darn hard. Um, look at that. Ooh, 130. I was like, that's nothing. I was buying this at 330. Ha uh -huh. And now it's bull. So what was it yesterday? What would have been about this time? It was yeah, around about 115, 160. I'm like, yeah, cool. I mean, the money. This is going to rocket back up to 300. Then this morning, <laughs> down there. So yeah, bought bought there, and it's come back down. Where is it going to go? So uh, at the bottom of uh, this thing here, I have got. Uh, the relative strength index, which, uh, frankly, doesn't really help um, that much. Uh, it's saying I should be buying just now uh, in the 45 minute kind of time scale going on down at 95. But uh, no, nah, I think I'll I think I'll leave it there for a wee while. But um, yeah, check out um, UKTradingView.com. Uh, relative strength index was meant to be a good one to tell you when to buy, when to sell, um, when you know when it's kind of overreached its mark, uh, kind of about there, but mm, never hurts, never hurts. So it seems to be coming back up into the into the safe zone, but uh, yeah, yeah, where it, where is it going to go? So at the moment, I only have 0.1348 of a Litecoin waiting to be purchased, and I put that at 83 Euros. I'm thinking I should possibly move that down to 76. And put that 76. That gets me 1.4. Ah, an extra 0 0.01 rocketing into my account. Um, yeah, I'll just leave that nice and low going on. But this is the thing. If you 
look at the actual chart for okay the next jump so up to 4300 that is going down to 80 so that's 15 euros drop for 4600 litecoins could be sold or need to be sold for it to get down to 80 euros so for it to drop 14 euros 4600 is actually or was it 4600 is actually off the chart in the other direction um so it would have to go up 46 euros for it to reach the same amount up the way as it would if it were going down the way to uh, to 80 euros. So we're talking about 46 versus 15. That's that's the huge thing. So it just seems like if we just get enough people to buy 1,600, it will go whoom, straight back up. That's what it looks like. But it's not doing that. It just seems to be really shit. <laughs> what I think I'll do is if it reaches, if it if it plummets down to 180, I'll throw in another 50 pounds uh, into this. Um, if it gets down to 80 euros, I'll put on another 50 pounds, and that will uh, uh, be the last that I'm doing on this. But yeah. It really it seems to be crashing. Lots of other people are, are lots of other kind of sites or uh, people are saying, ah, but if you look at the long term, it's 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 not too bad. You're like, no, no. Even if you look at the long term, it's 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 going to be pretty shit. Uh, same in uh, Bitcoin. That <laughs> uh, is actually off in the one day chart on uh, on GDAX. It's it's beyond the chart. It's it's right down at the bottom. Uh, Ethereum is uh, getting dumped as well. Look at that candle. That's a dump going on there. However, it did drop lower than that, so six, 600. Uh, it seems to be there's a bit of resistance here around about 650. But uh, yeah, not not looking great for any of the Litecoins or any, any of the cryptocurrencies at the moment. Uh, everyone seems to be just be dumping their cash and there's not even like oh well what if we do it the other way and we look at the kind of the comparative um uh, value so you're doing bitcoin to um bit cash uh, or you're doing ethereum to bitcoin it went up and that's crashing as well so it may be the case of uh, if you have got bitcoin you can move it to ethereum and you'll do well there but it's it's not really it's no, it's, it, it just it had a big hump before, but down there. I, I would just, this is where the term HODL comes into play of just ride this out. <laughs> this would be a great time to go on holiday. Go on holiday for a week. Put Maybe put £50 in and put some speculative trades at 80, 70, 60, 50 pounds, 50 euros or whatever, and uh, then just just go on holiday <laughs> for a week and it will all be completely different, I hope. Maybe put uh, some speculative uh, trades on 150 for selling, 160 for selling. And just just walk away for the next few while because it's just really bad. <laughs>